Hey guys, it's Destroyer here with a This Means War campaign mission. We're taking a look at the second mission called Bunker Bonanza. Do know that the first mission is done during the tutorial of this game. I didn't know what to expect from this first mission, so I did bring along 16 rocket troopers. They aren't the best troop for this mission, and I'll show you why shortly. I have two attacks here. The first one is a very bad attack and the second one will be how to do it properly. So here you can see the enemy base in the northeast and our base is not too far away in the southwest. The battle line is in the middle, you can drop your troops anywhere behind the green line. As your troops progress towards the, the enemy base, the green line will move closer. Now there are some enemy rocket troopers outside of a bunker. Now once you kill those rocket troopers off, the bunker will produce more and they will keep coming out. So it's very important that you take down these bunkers as soon as possible. So here I split my troops in half to take the rocket troopers down. Which means it's taking a lot longer for me to kill the enemy and they're also killing my troops faster too. So it's quite important that you um, keep your troops grouped together to take down the bunkers as quick as possible. Also note that the green line does slowly start moving back and it's making me, uh, my rocket troopers harder to reach the bunkers. Also once my rocket troopers start dying off, you'll see in the bottom left corner that they do start recovering and I can drop more of them. So you see the enemy rocket troopers are also running towards my village. You can choose to drop some of your own troops to kill them off or even better it would be just to leave them to walk through and let your own base defences kill them off. These rocket troopers are more expensive to produce. They do have longer range uh, and higher damage per shot. However, they weren't the best troop to use here. So let me fast forward to the uh, retake of this and I'll show you how to do it better. So we're going back into the mission now, but this time I have a different troop composition. I'm using 16 grunts and two rocket troopers. So these grunts quickly move the green line forward, as well as they get me much closer to the bunkers. Because I put them all on one side, they were easier to kill those rocket troopers and get me right up to those bunkers. If you want, you could also drop some rocket troopers behind as well. As you can see, this was a very quick method. The bunkers get taken down very quickly and no more enemy rocket troopers come out. So there you have it, a very quick and easy method to three-star this mission.